Looking to improve your accuracy? Become a pro builder? The fastest way to become better at any game is with the help of a coach. And that's when ProGuides.com comes in. We want you to get those victory royales, those chicken dinners, those three stock victories. And to help you get there, we've created InstaPro, where you can be matched up with a pro right now. You can be playing with them in minutes, learning advanced tips and tricks that will put you ahead of the competition after only a few sessions. Want to know what it's like to learn from the best? Check out this session. And then check out the link in the description to hop on a session of your own. Hey, how are you doing today? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Where are you from? Um, Florida. Oh, that's super cool. All right, what do you want to work on today? Um, just game mechanics. All right, you want to hop into creative, see what we can do? Sure. All right, for sure. Uh, do you want to start it off with like a 1v1 and I'll see what I can see and then we can go from there? Sure. All right. I would say there, try and work on like covering yourself when you go high ground, just because 90s yeah. are super unprotected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's much better. Just work on when you go up, just work that you cover your sides mm -hmm. as well, not just your height. Yeah. Ugh. I'd probably say like your biggest problem right now is covering. So we can try it again, but really focus on like covering your sides and covering your top. Okay. Ah. Good ramp flip there. That's definitely like a really good play to have. Just make sure that like, I feel like you hesitated right when you flipped it. Yeah. Right? Just make sure that like you flip, it's and then just go for the shot again. Well, the only thing I was a little confused about is I saw, I didn't know if you were phasing a bit both phase up because you were phased through it a little bit. I didn't know if you were going to go down or up. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just make sure that like, you want to like anticipate like the worst case scenario, which for you yeah. would have been like me inside your box because then it's just like us shooting, right? Mm -hmm. So just like anticipate for that because like you can like, let's say I was below you, right? Mm -hmm. But you're expecting me to be inside. Well, now I'm just not gonna get any shots on you, you know? But let's mm -hmm. say, like, I was above you, then, like, it's the same thing. And, like, you're safe, right? But I just happen mm -hmm. to be inside so that you took damage. So from there, like, just be ready to take the fight. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. Yeah. I'd say, like, in 1v1s, especially, like, even in a real game, like, just know, like, Worst comes to worst, like, wh what's your backup plan? Like, what's your escape plan, you know? Good, good. careful of height there. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely really good like mentality there of trying to leave. Just make sure like you make the edit, you know? Yeah, I tried to edit recently. Yeah. It was a good play though, like editing the ramp and just trying to go down. Do you do a lot of like edit courses? Because I know in creative there's like so yeah. many edit courses now. I do a lot of like I don't really do a lot of advanced ones if you know what I mean, like regular and that kind of stuff. Okay. I do. Um yeah, but like I do do some and of course, like, I do slap as well. Okay, yeah, for sure. Ah, I can it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, editing it's definitely like a really strong mechanic that people have now with like building getting so advanced. So I would say like, if I had to give you some things that you could work on like at your free time when we're not in session, would be definitely edit courses. Just like working on your mechanics, getting smooth to the point where like, if you need to leave from a build, you have the ability to. Mm -hmm. Good block there. I would say like it was a really good first block, right? But like you know that I'm gonna be looking for a second shot, so just editing through there, it's kind of like predictable per se, right? To just make sure like from there you can like turn around, and go backwards. And that'd mm -hmm. probably help a lot. Yeah, I'd say there, because you own all of these walls, you know? Yeah. I mean, you also own this ramp as well. I feel like the strongest play that you, like a lot of people don't realize that they have is just going down because like you could not have all the walls. You could like not like I could own all four walls, the ceiling and the pyramid on top. But if you have like the bottom, you can just leave instantly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about that ramp that you're talking about? Was it like so, this one when you're double ramping out and you come like that? Yeah, that. Okay, so that a lot of this, people call it the Twyfo cone now, because it's made by like Ghost Twyfo. I don't know if you know who that is, right? No. All right. But yeah. Well, oh, my ping's actually spiking right now. But I would say, so like start with a double ramp right here. So you can go on like this platform and just follow mm -hmm. my builds. And just like mimic. It's so, like double ramp out a little bit. And you want your bottom ramp to be a little bit like one tile farther than your top ramp. Mm -hmm. Okay. And essentially, so you're gonna start, you can either go to like the left or the right. So like, let's say your opponent there, like this is mostly when you're trying to retake high ground, okay? Yeah. So like, let's say, so that's basically, that means that they're above you, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's just, are they above you to the left? Or are they above you to like the right? Okay. So like for this, I'd normally toy foot cone to the right, just cause it's more comfortable, right? But mm -hmm. you should know how to do it both ways. So you're gonna start off by placing these four walls, basically like all behind you. Mm -hmm. And then as so like it's gonna be in one motion, so you're gonna place all these walls, and then as you do that, you're gonna jump, right? And then when you hit the peak of your jump, look straight up and place that cone right above you. Yep, there you go. And then you're gonna place two more ramps out. Or actually, I mean you could do one more ramp, yeah. And then just double 90 from here, mm -hmm. and you basically gain like four stories on your opponent. And essentially, mm -hmm. what this does is if you come down here. essentially what this does. So like, let's say like the person, they're on your ramp, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna get blocked off by this wall and that's gonna cause them to like either stop or slow down. And then from there, you can just take high ground back, right? But let's say you wanna go over here. Let's say that they're one layer above your ramp, right? Here, mm -hmm. they're not gonna be able to place this cone. So it stops them mm -hmm. or slows them down as well. And then you can just easily mm -hmm. take high ground above them, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just a really good way is like stopping your opponent and just like slowing them down overall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there anything else that okay. you want to know in creative that I could help you out with? Oh yeah, what's that thing you always do when you like will put? Is that what this is basically? Is that what you always do? When, when I retake high ground, up, like I'm above you. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'll double ramp out, right? Usually I place like two ramps just because like mm -hmm. it's more convenient. But I guess you could do one, right? And then I'll mm -hmm. twice on here. And I'll just instantly go into 90s. Okay. And then once you get fast enough, what you can start doing is if you come up here. Or actually, I come down to you. So here, like, let's say you come out of your Twyfo cone right here, like out of your 90s, right? You can automatically pre-place this pyramid, right? And essentially what it does is, let's say the person, like, they were, like, higher than two stories up, so they didn't get blocked by that Twyfo cone, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say they're going to be, like, right here. What they're, what they'll most likely do is they're most likely gonna cone your ramp, right? Cause like, in se this is season nine, like cones are basically the meta. So they're basically yeah. gonna cone this ramp and you're kinda screwed, right? But what you can do is as soon as you get for out from under your ramp, you can pre-cone, right? And essentially what this does is now I have the edit, I can edit through the cone and now I have high ground on top of them. Okay. So I would definitely mm -hmm. say like, yeah, Twyfa cone something to practice. It's really good for taking high ground. Go instantly into your nineties. And once you get comfortable with that, I would say like the next step from there is learning how to cut like pre coning, right? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I would say like using cones are definitely like really good in the meta right now, right? Mm -hmm. And then just know like the cone radius or like the cone distance that you can get 
it's like mm -hmm. from here i can count two layers above me you know yeah so you can cone like super far away so like no matter where they are if they're above you if they're below you i would say always try and like get the cone off on them just because it gives you like the advantage for the very start of the fight i don't know like sometimes if i have like for example like when i average i average like 30 40 things okay whenever i whenever someone will be like this on me i'll press the cone button and it won't place for some reason like sometimes do I'll you press see the, the cone like hold on let me break this guy up here do you see like the cone outline because you have to time it because it's like yeah, yeah. I see it, but just sometimes it doesn't place. I don't know, maybe it's like my ping or something. I don't know. Well, what ping did you say you played on? 30 or 40. Um, yeah, I play around the same ping. I think it's more like timing based. Because right now, uh, when you're coning two layers above, like right here, like I can't cone this high, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. you have to jump, and then at like a very, like at the peak of your jump, you can see the cone for like a split second, and that's when you have to place it. Okay. Yeah, you want to try it? We can see if we can figure this out really quick. All right, so like go down there. I'm just... I just, I think you have to be closer. Yeah, like around like right here, and then just jump. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So I'd say base. It's more like timing based than ping base. I'd say. So just yeah. work on like it's like at the very peak of your jump, you want to press that gun. Okay. All right. Yeah, for sure. All right. I think that was like a really good running creative. Do you feel like you learned a lot, yeah. like mechanic was? I yeah, it's definitely, I think I do. All right, for sure. I think, so you said you wanted to run some duos. We can work with some game sense yeah. and some like overall decision making. Mm -hmm. All right, for sure. Let's get it. All right, for this plane path, I'd probably say, do you want to hit salty? It's a good hot drop and it's golden. Yeah, we can do that. All right. I'd say like a really good tip for you and your duo to know is that instead of like marking like, all right, let's go salty. I would say like, let's go brick house and then like I'll mark brick house, you yeah. know? Just because, like, in duos now, like, 1v2-ing yeah. is, like, really strong. Or, sorry, 2v1-ing is super strong. So you want to, like, stick yeah. with your duo as much as possible, have, like, that team synergy, and just try and, like, 2v1 everyone. Yeah. I that. Right, there's, like, four Online. teams, or two teams yeah, that want to do Uh-huh. Yep. One thing I do like to do, though, when I do... Blue. Okay, one thing I do like to do when I go, um, salty is... I, oh, I actually okay. got sniped okay. from... The mountain. Coming up. Yeah. I should be safe right here. I'm getting yeah, a ton of sticks like to on do. these people at um, Blue House right now. I'm trying to just go and flip out him. Do you have any meds? We can push this. Um, I do not have any meds, but I've not I've not looted everything yet. So okay. you know, Let's finish looting this house. Yeah, for sure. The chest right here. Oh, on minis on me? No, I'm good. I'm surprised I didn't get any kills from that storm. Floor. I checked one for like a ton. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna use Yeah. That right here. Oh, this box in the launch. Is that his? No, there's a guy right here. Okay. I'm healing right now. Nice. Oh. Storm I think we have to move yeah. right now. We're in a really bad spot. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Alright, right, right here. Oh. Yeah, he only has, he only has to me. Actually, no, he's not. He can't hit me. Good job. Here, actually, let's get this cone. Probably. Yeah, we can actually... Oh, we can both fit in the cone. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm down. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, both that's true. Fit in the cone anyways, I don't think both... Are... No. If you're both, like, alive, I don't think you can both fit in the cone. I don't know. I... Oh, fun. Look at this one. Yeah. I got sniped. Oh, I got sniped. Oh. I think he did that. I'd say when you. Oh, I have like no mats. I'd say when you call, try and like assist him right pushing. there. Okay. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, I'd say like mark it. It definitely helps a lot. Yeah, behind that tree. Actually, behind that wall right now. I'm actually, red. I don't think he's very good. I think he only has a sniper, so I don't think he's gonna push. Push by another guy. Do you have any rockets, by the way? Uh, I can't check right now, but okay. once I can, I will. I have no mask. I don't. Cool. Never do. Oh, yeah, he does have a Jump. I need to farm on the tree. Hold on. There's a kid right there. Right there, right there. Skull Trooper, good job. 
Oh my god, I visual, dude. I have visual sound effects. I can see who they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Go away, you kid. Okay. Oh, you got it. I don't think it's going to go Bro, okay, I need his loot. Hold on. <laughs> oh, did you get him? Yeah. Oh, good job. Bro, I don't have the match for this. Hold on. I have 12 brick, but I can't drop them. Oh, I found that as well. Oh, yeah, it's I'm not enough, team. dude. Alright. I'm just gonna wing it, okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna pull some. Come on, no one's gonna think anybody's resin in this box. It's wide open. Alright, there, I would definitely say, like. Because yeah. just be aware of like where everyone is. Because at the very beginning, remember how I got knocked by that guy from the mountain? Yeah, that was not so good. Just, yeah, so just be aware like everyone's positioning inside like the earth. Oh, guys here, guys here, guys here. Right above, right above. We have to play. Good one. Good job. Good one. Oh, he's on me. I've been in my box. He's in this box. I got a bug. Jump. Yeah, I'd say there. Let's try and play more to like together. So since I went up, try and come up with me, you know. Mm -hmm. So then that way we're not a split. Okay. Up one down. I hit him 70 white, 70 white, right below me. Got him, got him, got him. Yeah. Grenade shield, okay. grenade as we. Grenade reloading, shield. reloading. Here's a foot knock. Just watch out. Right on me, right on me. No. Good job. Good Karen teamwork there, yeah. Yeah, good call outs there. Definitely I see improvement with like your marking your targets instead of just calling like right there, right there, right there. Yeah. So just make sure like when you say like when you call someone out, just know that like I also need to know where he is. So that'll yeah. help you out like marking. Um there's really a big helps. pot right here on this guy if you want to use it. Oh uh, you can use it, it's all good. We gotta go. Yeah. I'm trying to get us in. I don't want to use my build storage here. Okay, right. Switch your bricks, or mats to brick here, just because like we're going to stay a little bit, so stronger materials would help. Soccer skin. There's another team, another team, they're already they're getting third party. Do you want to Wait, someone just go? quad crasher behind us. Quad, 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 quad. Knocked one? Yeah. Drop the other one, other one, suction. Third one, you know, like, you know, like, Nice. He only had an AR. This was because I got the EBD. Okay. Want, I can run in and get that and then come back out. There's not much there, I'm looking at her, actually. Just to get the mats, yeah. And there's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's third party and we can go while, while they're both while they're Yeah, I'm gonna look for a heavy Oh, I hit him 150 shield. Okay, Honestly, good. zone's here, we can take this fight. Let's go third party. Alright, so we can use our old builds. I think we can take height here. Yeah, I'm going for height. If you can support okay. me. Got you. K-170 shield, soccer skin. Dumb. Come on, yeah. Hey, I'm right now. I hit him shield. I dropped a little bit. Are you still high? Yeah, there's a soccer skin on me. Okay, so I'm coming up. The box. Oh, he broke out. One's on me. I'm high with you. Oh, he's, okay, he's okay, up, he's up, he's up. Yeah, there's two. Dang, yeah. yeah. Got pinched. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. Yeah. That's a good game though. Yeah, that was a good game. I definitely say like overall tips that I would give for you is just try and be like aware of where everyone is on the map. It would help you a lot with like getting sniped, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause like there, like we were kind of like scuffed off of spawn. Like it wasn't like the game wasn't really in our favor, you know? Yeah. And then I would say, that was my bad. I kind of split up from you there. I dropped low ground. But normally, like us, both of us keeping high, that would have been a really good play, you know? Yeah. Um, I'd say your callouts are definitely getting better. Um, I would say marking everything helps a lot. Like just using like the double yeah. tap to like mark enemy instead of just saying like he's over there. But overall, I'd say like something that you could work on is definitely like, I definitely say the game awareness. Because I feel like from there, yeah. once you know where everyone is, I feel like you have the capability of like, mechanically like outskilling them and just killing them 
and then from there like obviously your win rate will go up your kd will go up and i think you'll become like a much better player that's right? so, like the first step is just trying to work on like your game awareness yeah yeah for sure though i definitely am looking forward to another session if you're planning on doing another one too mm -hmm. yep definitely okay. all right i'll see you again soon all right bye you.